is going on guys it's your boy motivated devil and i am back marine corps stories number 20 i can't believe this is 20 episodes deep we're gonna be about to shoot my teammate <laughs> I'm, such, I'm such a noob at this game but i'm having so much fun playing it battlefield 4 man it's it's fun and all but you know the xbox one the frame rate drop is just so annoying it happens so much it just feels like you're like running in mud i don't know anyways not going to talk about the gameplay but if you guys are wondering this is some battlefield 4 and I'm using the AK-12 just because I don't have that many guns unlocked. I'm trying to unlock some guns, but not any good guns unlocked so far. If you got any suggestions of a good gun, make sure you let me know. But what I want to talk about today is I wanted to, you know, veer off from, you know, the serious, okay, you know, numbers and all that stuff. I wanted to tell you guys a funny boot camp story that happened to me. And uh, it's actually really good. Uh, I thought I was going to, you know, die this day. Not actually die, but... I thought, I thought a drill instructor was going to kill me, so let's just hop right into it. Now, we woke up. It was uh, actually, the, we were at the range, and, you know, we wake up, and our drill instructors, you know, we're getting ready to go to breakfast, you know, morning chow. Getting ready to go to chow, and drill instructors tell us, you know, to lock up our weapons. So we lock up our weapons, and a drill instructor was going to stay behind and watch our weapons while we went to chow. So we lock up our weapons go downstairs and we're all standing outside in front of the barracks at like you know it's like 4 30 in the morning we're all standing out there and a drill instructor walks out and he's holding a rifle in his in his hands m16 and we all knew what that meant somebody didn't lock their rifle up which is like a huge no-no like serious trouble no one you know locked their rifle up so we know someone's about to get fucked up and it actually end up you guys have heard me if you've been watching marine corps stories a lot uh, it's actually the, my best friend, the one I went to boot camp with. He didn't lock up his rifle, and uh, the drill instructor straight just murdered him for the rest of the day. For the whole day, he had to run around all day with his rifle in his hand. Anywhere, he, a drill, our senior drill instructor gave him a drill instructor and said, this is your buddy for the whole day. Anywhere he goes, you're following behind. So that drill instructor, everywhere he went, he would sprint everywhere. And, you know, my buddy is having to carry his rifle everywhere he goes, so it sucked. So after that happened, we were told that we all needed to go inside and get our rifles. And when in boot camp, whenever you go to chow, you have morning chow and uh, uh, early chow and late chow, meaning someone early chow watches the rifles. They get like half the time to eat that everybody else does, which sucks. It's only like two recruits that are, you know, designated for this little job. So morning chow eats for like 15 minutes and then they go and relieve, you know, late chow and late chow goes and eats. So that morning, since my buddy, he was morning chow, since he got in trouble, I had to be morning chow because I was, you know, the next in line and I had did it before, which it wasn't my job, but I had did it and drill instructor told me to do it. So after I get done eating, uh, you know, we're in the chow hall, I'm eating, drill instructor comes up behind me, he's like, you're done. And you know, I get up, I throw my chore away and I'm going to run outside because, you know, in boot camp, everywhere you go, you're sprinting. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Drill instructor tells you to go somewhere, you better sprint. It doesn't matter if it's five feet. You better sprint that five feet or jump five feet. I don't know. You better you better go. So as soon as I walk out of the chow hall, I start sprinting. And Sergeant Botts, which was one of my drill instructors, he wasn't like a you know senior or anything like that. He was just a regular drill instructor. He was our 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 platoon was his very first platoon. So he was new at this. So, you know, he tried he was <laughs> It was kind of funny because you could tell in boot camp, and if you know you're a marine, you know what I'm talking about. You can tell who's the new new drill instructors, how the way they act and stuff. So he, I'm running outside, and he's like, "Hey!" So I stop running and I run up to him. You know, I stand in attention. He asks me where I'm going, and I tell him, you know, I'm late child today, so that's where I'm going. I just said that like me and him just like, "Yeah, bro, like where are you going?" No, it wasn't nothing like that. I was screaming, "I sir," and all that good stuff, and he was screaming at me. So, anyways, just wanted to clear that up. So he asked me where I'm going, and I tell him I'm late, chow, and he's like, okay, run. So I turn around, okay, I'm standing there in front of him, I turn around, and I take off to like a sprint, like an NFL, you know, 40-yard dash combine sprint. I take off in a sprint, and a female drill instructor was standing about 10 feet behind me, and I didn't see it. Keep in mind, it's like 4.45 in the morning, pitch black outside, and, you know, we're wearing dark green camo. So I take off at it, you know, I'm hauling ass. I didn't see this drill instructor at all. She was about my height. I straight plowed her. I plowed her over. She went flying about five feet. You know, her campaign cover, you know, her hat, whatever you want to call it for you guys that don't know. That thing went flying. I was 
I was so scared. I my first instinct was to run up to her and reach my hand out to help her, but she screamed. She was like, "Get the fuck away from me!" And like she jumped up and was all in my face. And before I knew it, I had four other female drill instructors standing all over me. And they told my drill instructor, the one that you know, Sergeant Boss, the one that sent me over there. They told him what happened because he didn't see it. And he walked up to me. He's like, "Hey, did you do that?" And I was like, "Yes, sir." And he was like, he started laughing. You know, drill instructors are not supposed to laugh, but he started laughing. And then whenever we got back to the squad bay, a senior drill instructor was standing in the middle of the hallway, and he was like, hey, who ran over this uh, female drill instructor? And I screamed, this recruit, sir. And he was like, good job. Everybody in there wanted to laugh so hard, but of course, you know, we're not supposed to laugh. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you enjoy the funny stories, let me know. Again, episode number 20, if you could, drop a like on it. It means a lot to me, and it helps make me grow, helps other people see these videos. It's your boy, Motivated Devil. Sipping Fidelis, out.